do you think the machines will win? It's impossible. Because the day when we design the machine, we know machine is powerful, stronger than us. Next 30 years, it's going to be painful. What does that, that is a, mean? So stop globalization, it's impossible. People are already unhappy because a lot of machine learning, artificial intelligence killing a lot of jobs. Machine is good in knowledge, but human beings are good at the wisdom. That doesn't sound good to me. Artificial intelligence is going to be very smart. We think we're a big data company today. That was compared to yesterday. Compared to tomorrow, we are nothing. We think data is going to be so important to human life in the future. There's plenty of people who don't believe you who think that eventually artificial intelligence will exceed our own and the machines will take over and we won't even know when that point is reached. A machine can do things that human being cannot do. One of the best ways is to help in small business to sell their local products across the board. You can always make a machine to learn the knowledge, but it is difficult for machine to have a human heart. I noticed some quotes from you recently when it comes to the future of work. Mm -hmm. uh, in the next 30 years, the world will see much more pain than happiness, uh, is one thing that you said. And that was involving the idea of how work is going to change and how conceivably the social fabric yeah. will change. That doesn't sound good to me. Well, every technology revolution we call social unstability. The first technology revolution, I said, caused World War I. Second technology revolution caused World War II. This is the third technology revolution. People are already unhappy because a lot of machine learning, artificial intelligence killing a lot of jobs. People start to worry. Those, the background, the, the, the education background, if, you cannot, if you're not innovative enough, if you're not like a creative enough, your job will be taken away by a lot of machines. So this is the challenge. So it's the third technology revolution we may cause the third world war. What's the third world war? We should be the war if the human being do not have the same target, the, the one target, like a poverty, disease, environment, human being gonna have big problems. So I think the good thing is that technology is gonna improve people's life. The bad thing is technology is killing a lot of jobs. People may, may live in a different way. So this is something that uh, I worry about in the next 30 years. As you should, this would seem to be a huge challenge. I could think, for example, of social stability in your own country, yeah. where tens of millions of people are employed in industries where eventually a robot might be able to do it. What's going to happen to those jobs? That's why we should have to do the globalization. In the last 20 years, or last 200 years, I would say, it's like an industry period. Large scale standardization is the model. Next 100 years, personalized, customer made is the future. So I think the challenge of this technology is to a lot of big companies. So how we can empower the small business. If the small business normally they can only sell things to their village or their own county or even their city. With the power of the internet, we can help them sell across the board. The way to figure out the job creation one of the best ways is to help in small business to sell their local products across the board. And we have to prepare now because next 30 years is going to be painful. It's going to be painful. They're painful. Because of the changes that are going to change take place. Change of the technology, change of They're the world. have a lot of people with a lot of time on their hands too. Well, you know, the other thing people would be interested in. They might want to spend it on Alibaba watching movies and buying things, but well, believe it or not, I think next 30 years, people only work four hours a day and maybe four days a week. People say, wow, when they, what are they going to do? My grandfather work, worked 16 hours a day in the farmland to dig in. He thinks he's very busy. We work eight hours, five days a week. We think we are very busy. By the next 30 years, people only work four hours and Normally in your life, you only normal people visit like 30 places. 30 years later, they will probably visit 300 places. So there will be there will be mobile population. So stop globalization. It's impossible. The only thing is that how can we make the globalization more inclusive, the trade more inclusive, knowledge more inclusive. This is the this is how we can dealing with the. 
the instability of the These world. These are all very important issues. Do you think the machines will win? No, human will win. They will? Oh yeah, absolutely. Machine is good in knowledge, but human being are good at the wisdom. So that is why I'm encouraging a lot of government and talking to a lot of government officers, pay special attention to the education system. If you want, the machine is going to be smarter than human being. This is for sure. All right, I'm a guarantee. Because the day when we design the machine, we know machine is powerful, stronger than us. When we design the trains and buses, we know machine is going to run faster than us. When we have the computers, we have to know that machine is going to be smarter than us. But the human being, they are not only smart, they have the wisdom. And so artificial intelligence will never have wisdom? No. 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 It's about a valley, it's about wisdom, it's about experience. It's about a use experience. It's about the, your life experience. So I don't think the, machine, the artificial intelligence is going to replace the wisdom. Artificial intelligence is going to be very smart. So the smart, between the smart and the wisdom, Smart people know what you want. Wisdom people, wise people knows what they don't want. I just continue to wonder what that world will look like over the next 30 years it's and whether we can... It's going to be painful. Consume. What's well, painful? What does that mean? Well, you will see that uh, some people, because the knowledge is not enough, the wisdom is not enough. So the new wave coming, the job is, is, is being taken away. Some people who, who catch up the wave will be rich, will be more successful. Some people will be more painful. The government, you know, if the world is going to be data. The people will know have more data than the bosses. Right. You've said, we're talking about data. Yeah, data. You said machines had drink, drank, had drank electricity. electricity. Now they will drink data. Data is our water and our soil. Yeah. What does that, that mean? A, well, in the future, in the office, there are electricity, there are water, and the pipe of uh, the uh, data. If you want to make machine smart, the machine must drink data. So data is, without the data, innovation society is impossible. And the other thing, in the past 200 years, because of the science, people's eyes look at the outside. We go to the moon, we want to go to the Mars, we'll see the outside world, but we we'll never see the inside of the human beings data, you will know human being better. You have a lot of data at Alibaba, don't you? Yeah, we do. And how are you focused on creating and obtaining more of it? No, I think uh, it's just the beginning of the data period. We think data is going to be so important to human life in the future. So now we just said we are the first runner. Compared to tomorrow, our data is nothing. Tomorrow, IoT, Internet of Things, Everything connected. You'll Everything have would be billions data. upon Net, billions yeah, of devices bit, connected. That's kind of connected, data. right? So, we think we're a big data company today. That was compared to yesterday. Compared to tomorrow, we are nothing. Well, what will it let you do? Having access to that data as it accumulates more and more. What would allow you to do? Improve people's life. Improve the machines to make sure the machine can do better jobs to support human beings instead of machine do better jobs to cure human jobs. So I think that they, we don't know how data really can make money today, but we know we have to protect the, the security of the data, the privacy of the data. And when we know one day the data will empower the human being. Today's data is like a uh, hundred years ago, people think about electricity is a light, you know? But they never thought a hundred years later, we have, uh, we have a refrigerator and washing machine, everything using electricity. So data, you know, we have to believe our kids will be much smarter than us using the data. But you don't believe all that data when used with artificial intelligence will create wisdom. No. You don't. No. no. Wisdom is from heart. The machine intelligence is about the brain. Brain is about the now knowledge. You can always make a machine to learn the knowledge but it is difficult for machine to have a human heart. I like the sound of it. I'm not sure. I, there's plenty of people who don't believe you who think that eventually artificial intelligence will exceed our own and the machines will take over and we won't even know when that point is reached. Yeah, we will see in 30 years. 30 years later, we're still surviving. We will check out. 
you talk to Elon Musk about this at all ever? <laughs> well, yeah, I, you know, I think the machine intelligence and human intelligence, we have to be careful. If you're using artificial, I don't think we should make, make machine like human. This is, this is something we should do. We should making sure the machine can do things that human being cannot do. This is the focus that we are doing. Thanks for checking out this video. Sign up with a CAD Guild to kickstart your career. And don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel to get more updates on our latest courses.